Hi everyone, my name is Magan and today we're going to be playing a game called In Other Waters. So this game is a narrative ocean exploration game played through the eyes of an AI. You guide a xenobiologist by the name of Ellery Vass in uh, navigating the depths of an alien planet, uh, maintaining her suit and making decisions that could have you know, disastrous results for your relationship between the two of you. Um, you're also tasked with discovering the fate of your partner, uh, Mine Nomura. Um, so as you explore, you scan objects, study life, observe it, um, track it and sample it. Uh, so and the more you explore, the more you recover and the more secrets you uncover about what happened to your partner. So the reason you're on this exoplanet is due to a corporate funded study. Ellery barely makes a living as a, as a teacher. You know, she teaches marine biology and diving, which is supplemented by these studies, which are a legal requirement for all these worlds are harvested for the resources. Basically, Earth's oceans are dead. Uh, the planet is facing a massive environmental change. So the study is a little more than a formality just to eliminate the possibility of life. But on this occasion, things are very, very different. Um, so this game is created by Gareth Damien Martin, who does designing, art, writing and programming for the game. Uh, he's a games journalist. He does Euro Gamer columns. Um, he's the creator of Heterotopias, which is a digital magazine hosting studies of space, of play, exploration, uh, violence and ideology in virtual worlds. So Michael Berto, who does the music and sound design um, under his personal musical persona pause menu, he's self-published over 30 records across a variety of genres for games and short films. Then you have Zeon Siton, who's doing the programming. Um, he's an active indie developer as well as another title such as Swing King in the Temple of Bling, which is one of the coolest names ever. <laughs> and he's currently working on a project called Objective. So with all that being said, uh, we're going to jump into the game and um, see how it plays out. Incoming transmission. Sender. Mine Namora. I've forgotten my borders. Given them up. In water worn by three sons I swim. Surrounded by my brothers and sisters. I am trying to forget us too. But my memory seems to cluster in deep places. I'm sorry Ellery. But she is here. And I've been searching for so long. All is well. End transmission. Interesting. So. The... The UI for this game is, is very simplistic. This is basically it. Um, I don't know if there's going to be um, expansions to this. There might be more stuff you have to deal with in the future. But for now, um, we're just going to carry on and see what we do. Namora, are you receiving? Come on, Mine, answer me. I'm assuming this is Ellery speaking at the moment. So I don't know what any of these buttons do at the moment. Uh, comms. Okay, it looks like filter, cell. I don't know what that means. But everything else here. Oh, I can move that around. So, answer me. We is. I'm guessing this is like yes or no. So let's go yes. What the? That's not external comms. Is there someone in here with me? Wait. Are you an AI? I don't know what the AI's name is. Maybe we'll find out now. An operator AI in a suit this old? Did Nomura set you up? What the hell is going on? I thought we were past this, Mine. If I'd known something was... I wouldn't have left you out here. This looks bad, Mine. Really bad. Your suit gone, the base cleared out. Did you leave me this suit as a message? I want to understand, Mine. Let me in. Shit. She's not going to answer, is she? Operator? Maybe you can help. Visibility is terrible out here. I'm struggling to track Nomura. I haven't piloted this model of bike out before. Yeah, I haven't piloted this model of bike out before. Does it have a scanning facility? Ooh. Ah, so it's teaching you like the basics of how to use uh, the suit. So, which is a nice little thing. It doesn't explicitly tell you. It just kind of like pops up. Oh, this is the scan button, which is nice. I like that. Ooh, so we've got these little triangles. That have appeared. Uh, let's go to this one. Seems the closest. So let, maybe let's go to this one. Oh, I have to. Okay, I have to hold it down. 
Oh, you have to keep it held down to see. Feature, geology, alien, analysis. High density plume of sediment, mostly silica in makeup. No signs of organic life. So we've discovered that one. Object, metallic, human, analysis. Part of Dragonet class dive suit. Minor exterior, uh, I mean, I'm guessing that's meant to be damage. <laughs> Minor exterior damage detected. An internal device is emitting a faint signal. Is that part of Nomura's suit? I want to see what this one is first. Feature, geology, alien. Deposit of ore. Unknown alloy potentially unique to this planet. Estimated higher market value. Okay, let's carry on. I'm marking it. Operator, set the compass heading. How do I do... How do I do that? It was this one, wasn't it? So do I just click on it? Oh, I don't have to hold it down. I just have to click as long as I don't move the mouse. It's fine. Um, how? Oh, so this little X has popped up. So let's click on that. Oh, so that's to switch between movement and scanning. Nice. So I've got to move that. Reef edge. So you got, I don't know, toxicity, I'm guessing. Nitrogen, radiation, visibility. That's cool. This is really cool. <laughs> so we set our path. Moving off at 50 degrees. This was supposed to be a standard corporate study. Confirm the absence of life before the extinction. Extraction rigs ship in. The Mora wanted to go ahead. She wanted some space to think. I agreed. She would ship out all alone to establish the base. Monitor the automation. Then I'd arrive ready for the job. I really should have... Sh I never should have agreed. This... This is on me. I've arrived. Let's take a look at this thing. It's definitely part of her suit. A gauntlet panel. That's where Dragonette's suits carry their tracking beacon. Why would she remove it? This isn't good. Operator. No, scratch that. Too formal. What should I call you? Yeah, what should you call me? Also, what's the difference between yes and no? I'm going to click on the no. <laughs> That's all this old suit allows, huh? I can't call you no, but something binary, negative. How about nada? It's from my mother tongue. Fits you perfectly. <laughs> oh, that's cool. So yeah, like, like I was saying earlier, the, the decisions that you make will affect how like the story develops and changes and stuff. So if you click no, <laughs> she calls you nada. So I'm, I'm interested to see what she'd call you if you click yes. Okay then. Good to meet you, Nada. I'm Ellery Vass. Now, let's find my friend. Alright, let's scan. So we have two potential things here. Let's go let's see what this one is. Object. Wooden. Human. Small wooden object. Surface marks indicate it was hand carved. Material not native to Jalice. Is, is that how you say it? Jalice? That's what I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna go with. Jalice six seven seven C C <laughs> uh, what's this one over here? Object metallic human. Shin guards from Dragonet dive suit trapped in narrow crevice. That's where I'm gonna go. Looks like she could have gone either way. Towards the drop off at around a hundred or north into the cent central reef. What do you think? Um I'm gonna say let's go let's go north to the central reef. Yeah, let's set a dire let's set a direction to over there. Toxicity 1.34, nitrogen, radioactive visibility is 1. Let's just check over here as well, see what it says. Oh, a lot less. So this is, visibility is better. Um, oh, what was the radiation? Toxicity and nitrogen are a lot lower. Radiation, that was like 1 point something. Oh, maybe we'll go here. This is less, oh, less radiation. See, I don't know, I don't know how that's going to affect what I... I do. Um, let's go to the metal object. Heading out 340 into what appears to be the central reef. So like as you travel you get more story. It's cool. Passing over a set of branching crevices. I think pieces of Nomura's suit is lodged down there. Visibility is improving rapidly now. Looks like she got a leg trapped. Tore it free. Why would she be so... 
What the hell was that? <gasps> Nada, are you seeing this? Movement everywhere. It's beautiful. The reef is alive. I never thought... We've got to start logging this. <laughs> See, this is cool. The fact... For such a simple... Like... User interface... It's, it's still really, like, cool to just... It's all like little dots, but it, it makes me feel so like, like, wow, <laughs> wow. <laughs> all right, so let's let's scan. Oh, look at everything. Uh, all right, let's see what everything is. It's life form, organic alien, arrowhead-shaped creature, hierarchical grazing patterns, distinctive crimson coloring. Life organic alien. Soft bodied, six legged creature. No signs of a skeletal system. Scan suggests coating of chromatophore cells. Life form organic alien. Initial scans indicate this is the edge of reef wide network of microbiological colonies. Small organisms with, com com with cluster of complex eyes. Uh, sensorium suggests rips rich perceptive ability. There are too many. How how do we even begin this study? Life form organic. Oh, that's one I just looked at. Uh, what's this one over here? Organic spores in the water suggest spawning fungal organism. Bioluminescence may reflect metabolic rate. Oh, this is cool. We've got so many options. I want to see what I want to see what she says first. The reef is encrusted with life. Branching, diverging, flowing, shoaling, every layer. Did Nomura find all this? Why didn't she tell me? Is this what she is hiding? A whole ocean of untouched, unclassified, impossible life? I have to speak with Nomura. There's a trail leading under that overhang. She's close, I know it. So I think this that little dot, I think that may have just... Oh no! That's just a... Uh, that's just a dot. So, I don't know. Where do I go? Um, interesting. So, what's this big dot over here? I can go. Oh, that's where I have to kind of go. Yeah, because I'm following her trail. Over and, phew, that's very high toxicity. But it appears to be the only direction I can go. So, that's the direction we're heading in. Here we go. Heading out at 40, approaching the overhang. There's a huge bioluminescent bio organism seeded on the underside, releasing... Are those spores? The water is teeming with them. Incredible. Shit. They're burning through the suit's filters. The suit is flushing the... Reserve O2 tank to clear the filters. I'm turning back. In rapid retreat, Nada. Monitor those O2 levels. Alright, we're clear. I won't be trying that again anytime soon. We need to understand more about those spores if we want to go to Nomura. This suit should have the ability to adapt its filters to toxins, but only when provided with a biological sample. Nice. Either a sample of the toxin itself or the antidote should do the trick. I'm giving you full access privilege for the sample and storage unit utilities of the suit. And I'll mark the most active areas of the reef. Let me know which to visit first. Oh, cool. So, uh, so what does this do? <gasps> sample text. So it does expand. Like the music, the music's really cool as well. Like it's very. Uh, I was about to say it sounds very wet, but that's not the right words. It's very like soothing and kind of like it like flows. Like it's, I think it's a good representation of like the ocean, and you can hear all these little um, 
like not yeah, like synth type sounds like which kind of represent like the AI and stuff so it blends really well really nicely together um, so this is the sample bit okay so cool what do we go to um, all right let's let's go there's a let's go to the big cluster because they look like there might be spores they look like they might be similar to that or at least we can get some sort of um, research on those so we can find like a antidote and stuff uh, it doesn't seem too toxic everything looks good so let's go that way moving 280 west the reef seems incredibly active these crimson creatures are passing back and forth constantly the organisms rooted on this side of the reef is huge and massive sh shifting fronds are the scans providing any information on it it looks almost anemone like I'm not sure how this can help us gather samples. We need though. Let me know if you want to turn back. Um, so, what does this do? Oh, interesting. I don't know what all these buttons and features do yet, but I'm sure I'll find out. So, we got something here. What's this? Life form organic. Initial scans indicate this is the edge of the reef-wide network of microbiological colonies. Um, do we go there? Do we go up here? This arrowhead-shaped creature is resting among the fronds of the larger life forms. This vast hydroid-like organism appears to be giving shelter to the crimson arrowhead creature. Ooh. Um, no, we're going to stay here. No problem. I'm happy to stay and stare at this thing a little longer. Let me know when you're ready. Alright, cool. So we got the scanning done. Or, hold on. Can I just move in a certain direction? Um, okay, so maybe there was nothing here, so maybe I have to head back. Good call, we need to take those samples. Okay, so you scan around, you look, if there's nothing to go to, then you just retreat back to where you were. So on the left lower bit, you've got your oxygen. Back at Central Reef. Where to now? Um, so we went there. Let's try. Let's try over here. Because I think going to that other one just above might be a bit too risky, but I don't know. We'll, we'll soon find out, I guess. Uh, taking a heading of 180 into the Southern Reef. There's, there's a massing of plants just near the drop off ahead. Such strange forms. I wonder if their metabolism is photosynthetic. I can't see exactly what species are here. The growth is too dense. Can you pick out any of the same species as on the overhang? Let me know if you want to go back. Okay, so can I pick anything out? Um, it doesn't appear that I can. Is there anything else I can scan in this region? Ooh. What's over here? My form organic alien. One of the crimson arrowhead creatures. After rapid feeding, this individual is resting. Uh, it might be worth it going to that one, but let's have a quick look over here. Uh, Life form organic alien. Crimson colored creature. Crimson, crimson colored grazing creature. <laughs> that was difficult to say. Uh, feeding on toxic spores released by the fungal colony. Uh, the crimson arrowhead shaped creatures are feeding on the spores. What's protecting them from the toxins? We should see where else they gather. Ready to go? Oh, maybe I should go to that one. Uh, it was there, wasn't it? Can I go over there? No, can I scan anything? Uh, apparently not at the moment. Okay, let's go back to scanning. So I've got to head back, maybe. Okay, let's see what we can find elsewhere. So I've got to go to the one that's up by the spores then, by the looks of things, because uh, I'm not getting anything else. So maybe, yeah, maybe I just have to go to the, the edge of where the spores were. Heading into the North Reef. 
We better keep our distance from those spores. Yes, there's no way we can take a sample directly. This is where the rock wall meets the drop off. No path around. The water is full of these crimson creatures. Why so much activity? Do you want to head back? Being so close to these spores is making me nervous. Um, so how... That's right, this is a question. How do I gather things? Let's say no. I can wait. Just don't make me go any closer. I can wait. Uh, okay, saying the same thing. Alright, so we're going to head back again, I guess. Thank God, let's back off from this thing. Okay, so... So what do I do? Because <laughs> I've already been to places. Um, maybe... Maybe we'll head off... I don't know. Do we head off here again? I don't know how to take samples of things. <laughs> Um, Alright, let's just head back this way for now. Head to the west side of the reef. Alright, we're going back here. Because like I said, this is my initial thought, because there's lots of like little spore things here. Here, even. This has to be feeding behaviour. They're darting through the spores, then retreating. Here, this is where they are massing. This huge organism, it has to be something to do with their feeding patterns. So let's, I don't know, let's scan some other bits here. This organism is secreting a chemical from its front. Traces of the same chemical have been detected on the nearby arrowheads. That's it, this organism is providing protective coating that shields arrowheads from the spores. It's a symbiotic relationship. That substance that arrowheads carry must help seed this organism around the reef. But more than that, it means these fronds hold the antidote to the spores. Well, this is where I went first. Okay, Nada, time to take a sample. I'm all set up here. Activate the panel. Is it is it that one or is it this one? It's this one. Oh, okay, now we've got a little dot. So. Ah, there you go. You just have to get it right. Oh, oh, oh. And there we go. So now we click this little triangle button here. And I don't know what does this do? Because this, yeah, this square lit up. Oh, okay, there we go. I, I just, yeah, I was doing something wrong there. <laughs> that seems to have done it. Yes, it has. Now we just need to feed it into the suit's filter routine. Okay, so we open up this. Click on that. Oh, cool. I can put that in there. It's processing the data. Come on. Yes, it's complete. Let's hope that's enough data. I'm heading back to the central reef. Time to find Nomura. Alright, so now we're going to head up to where the spores were. Because we've got the sample and it's going to filter out the toxicity of it. Yeah, ready to see if this works? I guess so. See, toxicity is quite high, so 8.66 is basically high. <laughs> I'll set a destination. Heading back under the overhang. I hope the filters are correctly recalibrated. Nice and easy now. Toxic filtration is active. Seems to be holding. This fungus is unlike anything I've seen before. We should take some samples once we find Namora. Okay, we are clear of the spores. Guess this old bi cow model still work. Coming out into an exposed rise. It's so peaceful. There are tiny colonies of what looks like photosynthetic life. I'm still not seeing Nomura. There, at 30 degrees. Her dragonette seems static. Oh no, what's happened? I'm approaching. Come on, Minet. Move. Please. It's empty. The suit is empty. 
Where the hell is she? I don't understand. There's a signal. I'm connecting to Namora's suit. She was receiving a transmission from somewhere deep in the ocean floor. Let me relay it to you. There. Ooh, this is cool! <laughs> Incoming in encryption. Uh, in other waters our children drown. In other waters our children drown. A sound from somewhere out past the drop-off. Something is approaching. Fast. There's a huge surge in the water. Can you hear that? I can hear that. Oh. We need to leave. No! It's too late! Lock down the suit. Lock it down. <laughs> Nada. Are you there? Oh, that was cool. Okay, so that, that is the demo for In Other Waters. Thank you for playing. In Other Waters is now on Kickstarter. There you go, I was just about to say. Uh, if you enjoyed the demo, please support the game. So yeah, that was that was very, very cool. Like, it's it, like, it's very heavy narrative driven, but you have this whole mystery of like what's happened to your partner. And, you know, just collecting all the samples, having to do all that kind of stuff it's very very interesting like the way everything looks it was it was i still felt very like tense about what was happening there at the end so and just the whole ambience of everything like the, the sound effects the music it all flows like very nicely together um very very well done so far so i'm very much looking forward to <laughs> the full release coming out um so like the the game says here at the end um it is still on kickstarter at the moment i think it's already reached its funding goals but there's um there is one option i think it's 60 pounds you basically get the digital game um i think you get a, a physical soundtrack you get a physical copy of the companion book that's going to go with it which looks um looks very very nice so i suggest definitely going to check that out uh, i think you get like a uh enamel pin as well so yeah i'm i'm very intrigued by this I didn't think I'd like it as much as I did, so I'm 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 happy. <laughs> um, so, yeah, well, that is all for today. So thank you for watching. Um, I will leave all the links down in the description below to the Kickstarter, uh, so you can go and support it if you want. Um, but again, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>